Um, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how I usually colour my, um, my drawings. And the way I um, the way I normally use colour in Flash, um, because it doesn't have a very good colour management system, actually it doesn't have a colour management system, um, what I do is, just to put the alpha back up, what I do is um, prepare these palettes, and these are different, so you can see I've got uh, skin, uh, horn, hair, eye and line and I've got those for each of these except line on these ones but uh, these are different palettes so sometimes I might have a night palette or, a, or an underwater palette or you know different types of palettes that I have saved as separate symbols so that when it comes time for me to um, to actually use them let's close that and that colors yeah uh, if I wanted to start painting bitey um, what I'll do is I'll use the the color picker from this from the swatch thing you can't use it from this color panel oh yeah you can what am I talking about um, you can use it from that color panel there's the one that you can't use it from I think it's it might be the properties pa properties panel no you can <laughs> use the one in properties panel as well forget everything I just said but anyway um, I pick a color using this fill swatch picker and using that you can pick colors from anywhere on the screen even from uh, the menu bars and you know little graphics and icons and things so I use that to pick the colors and then paint bitey with the, with those so when it when I finish uh, when I finish drawing I'll just do an extremely crude uh, line drawing here of Bidey so I can demonstrate. Um, uh, yeah, put in his uh, line work. And then what I'll do, hang on. And then what I'll do is uh, just pick the colors. So actually, I'll just repaint that with the line. Now I'll just pick his color skin, skin, fur, 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 uh, horn, 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 horn. And there you go. And if I want to put shadows in, I'll get that. Turn the. Uh, put on the paint inside which you can't see it's just out of shot but uh, one day maybe I'll show you um, and just put in some lighting effects on his body uh, choose the light colored hair and again just uh, paint them in with a fat brush Fat brush is always good for painting lighting effects because you can just um, you set it to paint. Let me just take you down here a bit. Flash has this thing called Paint Inside. Oh, it's off screen. Um, paint Inside, which is there. This is Paint Normal, and you just if you paint, you'll just paint over everything. Um, this one is paint behind which is really cool because you can fill in gaps like if there's a tiny little gap in oh there's a little gap way in there see the gaps where the paint didn't get to just there um, I can choose his hoof color set it to paint behind and just go and there it paints behind fills in the gaps with that little tune etc. So that's um, that's how I do lighting effects and that's what I've done with, uh, let me take you back up the top um, 
yeah, that's what I've done with uh, the library symbols. I've got all these different palettes set as symbols, so I can just pick them straight from the library preview. And you can make that bigger if you if you need to, just by pulling that down. Now you've got something bigger to choose from. But um, so what I'm going to do? That drawing doesn't look too bad. Maybe I'll just keep it. But uh, I'm going to be painting this. Um, particular scene in a completely different way. I'm not going to be doing any line work at all. I'm just going to be using a fat brush, um, a nice big thick brush shape, um, and painting with single strokes. So I'll stop here, and in the next one, you'll see what I mean.